What do you think about your value as a person? What makes you valuable or what makes you feel valued? Where do you derive your self-worth? For some people, it's their intelligence. They feel validated through academic success or being thought of as intelligent. For some, it may be their talent as an artist or musician. For others, it might be a prestigious job. They feel respected because of their occupation. For girls and women, so often their self-worth is contingent on their physical appearance. It's understandable because looking pretty can make a woman feel loved and desired. If you answered yes to any of those, then imagine your life without that thing. What if your self-worth came from your musical ability? Let's say that you're in a popular band and everyone loves you for how talented you are and how amazing you are on stage. Now imagine that you get in a major car accident and you become paralyzed from the neck down. Your career as a musician is over and your days of performing on stage are gone. If your value and self-worth was rooted in your musical ability, how do you see yourself now? Does your life now have no meaning? Are you worthless now? C.S. Lewis once said, don't let your happiness depend on something you may lose. Those are words of wisdom. Here is what is true. You are valuable because of who created you. You are valuable because the God of the universe values you and loves you so much that he even gave his life for you. Let's look at what the Bible says. Genesis 1.26 says that we were made in God's image. This doesn't mean physically, but we were made with a mind, a will, a sense of morality. Those are attributes we get from our source, God. In Matthew 10, Jesus himself talks about our value. He says, aren't two sparrows sold for only a penny? But your father knows when any of them falls to the ground. Even the hairs on your head are counted. So don't be afraid. You are worth much more than many sparrows. Psalm 139 says, For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. To sum it up, your value is not in what you do, how you look, or what you have. So if you ever feel worthless, remember that you are a creation of the greatest artist ever, loved by the creator of the universe, intrinsically and immensely valuable. Always remember to see yourself the way God sees you, not more or less. That is the key to a healthy self-esteem. Thanks for watching everyone, God bless.